Hello, very good day to you. The weather looks like it will be pretty unsettled with further strong winds and heavy rain at times as we go through the last weekend of 2023. But before that, we do actually have a weak ridge of high pressure that will build to end Friday. So it's likely to be a relatively quieter night, could lead to some fairly widespread frost as we wake up on Saturday morning before then this area of low pressure, a deep area of low pressure is set to push its way in from the west. Now this low could be named Storm Hank by the Irish Met Service, Met Aaron, because it is like to be across the Republic of Ireland where we see the strongest winds. Nonetheless, Saturday is going to turn wet and windy across the UK. This band of intense rain is going to push its way east and northeastwards as we go through the day, bringing strong winds with it, the risk of gales, possibly even severe gales in exposed spots. As well as the rain, we are also likely to see some significant snow across northern areas, particularly over the higher ground of Scotland. Over the highest ground, we could see 10 to 20 centimetres of snow building up. And even to lower levels, there's a potential for some snow accumulations, even as low as perhaps 100 metres up, we could see some slushy snow. So likely to see some travel disruption again because of the wind, the rain and some snow like we've seen over some recent days. Temperatures are going to be a little bit on the mild side towards the south, highs of around 12 or 13 Celsius, but with the heavy rain and those strong winds feeling pretty unpleasant. Colder further north, temperatures suppressed mid single figures generally here and still windy too, so a chilly feel to things as well. As we look towards Sunday, then we are going to see the more persistent heavy rain clearing away towards the east, but still under the influence of this deep area of low pressure. As a result, it is still going to be blustery or windy and quite a showery day. So yes, the persistent rain quickly clearing away towards the east, something perhaps a little bit drier and brighter to start across central eastern parts of England, but then turning largely cloudy for many. Plenty of showers feeding in on those west northwesterly winds. As a result, it will be a across western parts where we see the heaviest and most frequent showers, but even eastern parts will see some scattered showers arriving as we go through the afternoon. Perhaps some drier, brighter weather across parts of Scotland, but any showers here could turn wintry over higher ground, and for many it is going to be a largely cloudy day. Temperatures are going to be down a nudge compared to Saturday in the south, just about getting into double figures here. Similar to Saturday further north, again, we're likely to see many towns and cities around the mid single uh, figures mark. As we look towards the end of the day on New Year's Eve and the blustery showery theme does continue, some of those showers should start to ease as we head towards midnight. So perhaps a bit more drier weather around, some clearer skies, but do watch out for those showers. And you will also want to wrap up quite warm because although it hasn't been particularly chilly recently, when you factor in those strong blustery winds, it's going to feel close to freezing for many places. So definitely a chilly feel to things as the clock strikes midnight. As we go through the early hours of New Year's Day then, still with some showers around, but they will increasingly clear away. So turning drier for many, particularly across more central southern parts of England and across Scotland too, some decent dry weather here. It's across this central slice of the UK that we're most likely to see the showery rain as we go through New Year's Day itself. Otherwise, perhaps a bit more dry, fine weather than we will have seen over the weekend, but notice the potential for some cloudy, persistent rain to push its way in from the southeast as we go through the afternoon. Worth bearing in mind that confidence does drop as we go through this weekend, so this rain may not actually reach the UK. Temperatures look like they'll be down a little bit again, so probably only just scraping into high single figures, possibly a few isolated places reaching 10 Celsius towards the south. But winds will be a little bit lighter than they will have been over the weekend. As we look through the rest of the first week of 2024, and at the moment, Tuesday looks like it'll be a largely dry day with some fine weather around before the return to something more unsettled, some heavy rain, some strong winds. And that does bring the potential for something a little bit colder and possibly wintry. So it is worth staying up to date with the forecast wherever you are. You can do so across our YouTube channel. Bye bye.